everybody, it's me Sissy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy pillow cover. Um, I This is one of my um, old bed pillows and I bought this cute little puppy print fleece blanket from Walmart for $2.50 and I'm going to show you how to make a simple and quick envelope pillowcase for it. And then I'm going to show you how it looks when Okay, so the first thing I did was I took my um, blanket and I folded it lengthwise and cut it down to middle so I had two long strips and we're just going to fold them over the pillow and make an envelope. This is just to get a rough measurement so we're just going to fold it that way and we're going to fold it this way and so you have a good overlap so that'll make a good um, envelope cover. Now you do this on the um, with the right side facing up so that your your pretty print is on the inside and you just want to get a rough measurement make sure you have enough room yeah there's more than enough room these blankets are wide enough to accommodate two full-size bed pillows so I've got a rough idea and I'm gonna make mine a bit smaller because this fabric does stretch a little bit when you're putting the pillow in and I want mine to be full not like a pillow sham where it's loose and baggy so I'm just gonna put two little pins on the end down here and then I'm gonna adjust it once I take the um, pillow out And this is great fabric to use it um, it keeps its shape it doesn't stretch that much when you're sewing and I've had a couple of these little blankets on my couch for over a year and um, I wash all my dog blankets because I let my dogs on the furniture so I wash the, the slip covers and the dog blankets every week and they've held up really good so this this can take a lot of abuse Okay, so on our cut edge, I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to fold it in just maybe an inch more, shorter than what I measured um, to take up for the stretch and the, because um, I want it to be tight on the pillow. And then I'm going to pin my cut edge together. Okay, I finished pinning it. I've got it all straightened out and everything and even I'm going to put my pillow up here and measure for my width and then I'm going to pin this side over here. Okay, and this um, you know, you can, can do a rough estimate because it's going to stretch a little bit and your pillow will kind of squish in a little bit. Use all those technical terms, squish in and all those technical sewing terms. <laughs> so, but. And this is a very forgiving um, craft. You know, if you if you mess it up completely, which I have made things and messed them up completely, I've only lost two dollars and fifty cent. Um, <laughs> But uh, I think it's going to turn out all right. So. Okay, so I've got that all pinned, so I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I'll take you with me. The lighting in here for y'all is horrible. Um, it's horrible for me, too. I'm still working on getting my craft room done, fixed up. But anyway, all I'm going to do is put this under the presser foot on the edge and I've got it set on zigzag you could do straight but I'm just going to do zigzag um, now I'm going to um, kind of go back over the edge a couple of times and then we're just going to sew a straight seam Um, 
when we get to the end, I'm going to back pack. Okay, and then we're just going to sew the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and take my pins out. Okay, and I'm going to um, trim this edge, leave about a quarter of an inch. Oh, these are terrible scissors. Where's my good scissors? Okay, and on my um, corners, I don't like the, the little pointy part because it'll be floppy and you can never get the pillow all the way in the corner. So I'm just going to take it and um, I'm just going to use my sewing plate here and kind of line up my point with it and then I'm just gonna round off my edges. Then you can just clip those off. You could get all fancy and, and round them and everything but um yeah this is this is just a throw pillow for the couch when I'm laying on the couch watching Netflix or YouTube. Mostly there'll be puppies piled on top of it, so. Let's go back in my kitchen where there's some light, and I will put these um, pillows in the form. Okay, so we got all sewed them. together and all trimmed up. So now we're going to turn it and see if we can stuff the pillow form in here and see if we got it the right size or if we need to make some adjustments. Pillow. I'm going to go ahead and cut my tag off. Once you get your pillow in there, you just take your hand and slip it in the cover and kind of um, adjust your pillow, get it in the corners, and get everything straight and looking how you want it. And I think this one fit pretty good. There's a good flap on there. You don't have to worry about the um, pillow coming out. And kind of beat on it, fluff it up, and there you go. So we have our two matching throw pillows for $250. i am going to go straighten up my couch right, and show so you how they look. so there's the uh, pillows on my couch, and there's three of the dogs. Where, poke, poke. You don't want to be over there? Say hey, poke, 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 poke. Say hey. But that's my peanut. Come on. Come on. And my dotty. Where, okay, we're stumbling. There there's is. Pokey. So that's it. I think they turned out really cute. Um, they were really simple and they uh, they look cute and they go with my puppy theme. Yeah. So, but anyway, remember if Sissy can do it, you can do it too. So get in there and sew something up or make something. Y'all have a great day. Bye. 
Oh, and here is one of my crafts I made with my Cricut that I got just got for Christmas. Yes, we really do need all these dolls. Yeah.